in this video we will see how to install java 25 on a mac machine and this 25 version got released recently on 16th of september so this is the latest version as of now and also in this video we will not use homebrew to install java jdk instead we will install the oracle jdk which is hosted on the oracle's official website but still if you prefer to use homebrew to install java then you will find the another separate video on the channel itself and the link will be in the description below now to install java 25 you need to search for oracle java download on any browser like i have shown here and in the search results we need to look for this result which is java downloads oracle and the country can be different according to your location and this will have link like oracle.com java technologies downloads so now let's open this link so if we scroll down a little bit then we will see all the versions which are available to download so from here we can download java 24 and of course the java 25 and if i scroll down a little bit more then we will see the older versions as well like 17 11 and 8 so we can download these versions from here now i will again go up and here we will select jdk 24 which is already selected and from here we will select the corresponding operating system so for our case it is mac os so i will select this mac os now here we have two options to download whether in the form of compressed archive or the dmg file so for this particular video we will go with the dmg installer now whether we need to go with the arm64 or the x64 that will totally depend on the type of the chip which is used in our mac system so let's now see how to check this chip type so if the chip type in your mac is apple silicon type then we would go with the first option this arm64 and on the other hand if the chip type is intel then we would go with this x64 option so now let's see how to check this chip type so for that we will click on this apple icon which is present on top left corner then click on this about this mac and here we will see this processor information or the chip information so for my case it is the intel core which means that it is an intel based system so i'll go with the x64 option but in this chip information if you have something like apple m1 m2 or m3 or similar thing then it would mean that the chip is based on the apple silicon and in that case you would go with this arm64 option so now i will close this pop-up window and here i will click on this link to install the dmg file so now once this is downloaded we will go to the location where it is downloaded so here this is the downloaded file and now we will double click on this file to start the installation and now this type of pop-up box will come up and here i will double click on this pkg file now this installation wizard will come up and i will click on this continue here now again continue and now to proceed further make sure to have this much of space in your system so i'll click here install and now here we will provide the password of our mac system and click on this install software now the installation is successful and i will close this wizard now here it is asking whether we want to keep that jdk 25 dmg file in our system or we want to move that to bin so i will say move to bin because we no longer require that file now now we will verify the installation through our terminal so for that first of all we will open the terminal so i'll press command and space and type terminal and hit enter now here we will type the command which is java space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter now in the output we have got this java 25 which means the java is installed in our system now but in case you do not get this output or you face any issue then let me know through comments or if the installation was successful for you then do hit the like button now we will set the value of java underscore home variable so first we will check the current value of that and for that on terminal we will type echo space dollar java underscore home and hit enter so for now it is empty so it is better to set this variable otherwise java might not work properly in some cases so the value of this variable will be the path of the jdk where it is installed so first we will get that path and then we will assign that path as the value of this particular variable so let's go to that location first where the jdk is installed so i will type cd space forward slash library forward slash java forward slash java virtual machine so i'll just type java virtual and i'll press tab here so that it can auto complete 
and now hit enter so now here i will do ls so here you would see this jdk-25.jdk hyphen .jdk folder so this is present because our java 25 jdk installation was successful so now we will go inside this folder so i'll say cd and i will just copy this name and paste it here and hit enter now again i will type ls and hit enter now you would see this contents folder so we will go inside this as well so i will type this and hit enter now again i will do ls so here you would see this home folder so this is the folder where all the java related binary and the library files are present which are required for proper functioning of java so now we will go inside this folder as well so i will say cd then home and hit enter now we will run pwd command to get the current path so this is the path which we need to set at as the value of this java underscore home variable so first we will copy this path from here and now we will set this value permanently in the jshrc or the bash underscore rc file so if your mac os version is catalina or the higher than that then there will be the jshrc file present in your system or in case you are using the lower version than catalina then there will be the bash underscore rc file so now we will go to the home directory of my current user so for that we will just type cd and hit enter so now we are in the home directory so both the home folders are the currently which we are present in and this home folder are different this was the home folder for java and this one where we are currently present is for the current user of this mac machine so do not get confused here so now here we will run ls space hyphen a so this will list down all the files including the hidden files so among these files we will also see this dot jshrc file or the bash underscore rc file according to your os version so now we will open this file using the vi editor so we will type vi space tilde then forward slash dot jshrc now before hitting enter we will copy this path so that we can set it there and now we will hit enter now here we will press i key on the keyboard so that we can move into the insert mode so here also you can see that we are into the insert mode now now here we will type java underscore home equals to and we will paste that copied path and now once we are done with this then we will move out from this insert mode so for that we will press the escape key on the keyboard and now we will write colon wq so whatever we are typing that you can see here now we will press return key on the keyboard and now finally we will source this file and for that we will type source space and the name of the file so this was dot jsh rc file for us so i'll copy this and paste it here now if we check the value of java underscore home variable again so we will type echo space then dollar java underscore home and hit enter so this time this is not empty and we have got the path which we had set in the file now here please cross check this value so this path and this path should be same now if we open one another new terminal then this value should also be set there as well so let's verify that also so i'll uh, click on this shell then new tab and here i will type again echo space dollar java underscore home and hit enter so we have got the value here as well so it means the path is set now so now the installation of java 25 is completed and if you found this video useful then do hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos and for free tutorials on multiple technologies you can refer the video description